What is good, everybody? I'm Kirby Wong, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends RTS. Last time we were here, uh, basically all we did was a lot of talking. We went up, reported to the commander about the Lilligan situation, and Rizu, I think, popped up there. Or Rizu popped up at the haircut shop anyways. The next morning, I think, when the commander come out. So anyways, yeah, let me read backtrack a little bit we reported the commander that the situation was under control um, then we had potato mochi with the professor and Akari um, she gave us a new recipe for scatter bangs um, another distraction tool uh, for Pokemon Do you need more geodudes to help you with your pickling process um, anyways then we went to bed, and then, yeah, when we stepped outside our, like, little dorm here, then Akari was uh, out and about, and she said, hey, I'm going to be working at the haircut shop, so stop by, and then the commander walked up, and she's like, uh, oh, sorry, commander, about the situation, and he's like, don't worry about it, if you're going to live in the village, you're going to be accepted, or whatever. And then, I can't remember if we had to go back up to his office, or if he just took us from there to go out to the shoreline here. I can't remember what the name of the beach is. It's something beach. Um, gosh, that really sucks. I can't remember it. But they, basically, this is where new uh, Jubilife people are coming in by boat. They dock here or whatever, and then they uh, come to the village. So, um, yeah, there's that. We greeted some new people. We talked about Pokemon. Then he had another mission for me that I had to go report up into his command, into his office for um, about helping at the Cobalt Coastlands. There's a new region that we can go and explore now. Um, and the situation there is weird because they did have a noble there, but unfortunately the noble died. Noble Pokemon died, so there's a warden in the area, but she doesn't have uh, much to look after, I guess. And so then there's been reports. Um, from the Pearl Clan, and Irida was there from her directly, that uh, there was some funny stuff, funny business going on around the island where the noble used to live, so we have to go investigate it to see what was going on, and if there's people there, or Pokemon there, I don't know, move them away, because the, the noble, the Lord's seat, you know, noble seat, can't uh, let it be defaced or disgraced, so... Just uh, remove the annoyance. Um, so that's our new mission we got to go do. And then after that, we actually went back to the field lands for a little story time. About the only time I fainted so far in the game. That happened off screen. But I also show you the Flying Gyarados when I was still and so confused about that. I didn't think, didn't think Gyarados could fly. Um, it was on Mighty Sinnoh, I wonder. And... Turns out he can't, even though he's flying type, he actually, like, i would never really, like, been a huge fan of Gyarados. I mean, Gyarados is cool and all, but I've never, like, really used Gyarados a whole lot. Oh, this is new. I guess this is what he said about, uh, as a reminder, Commander Commodos did say to walk around the village to see the progress we're making. And, uh, this new, this new, uh, building here, or construction of a building I guess has advanced I wonder if the building behind these kind of thorns have finished up so we're building back here too yeah yeah this this must be the new building that they built they were constructing back here so it must have been this building Whatever this is, like a grocery store, food, food warehouse maybe, food uh, like the brannery. That's what I'm looking for, like the brannery of the village. Oh, hello! Thanks for again for finding me those orange berries. I wretched time in the field lands getting hurt by Pokemon left and right. They even got me with a few of the moves, but I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I didn't even have a chance to use all the orange berries he got me, but they made a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much. Asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit more in my satchel was definitely the right move. So helpful, so helpful soul that you are. I suppose you're here about my request to the professor on to the matter at hand. Then, 
Would you mind investigating the Mr. Mine that's taking up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon among us is scary enough, and then there's that eerie way it moves. The security corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping the survey corps people like you can help me out. Look, it's over there. It sure is over there. See what it's up to, would you? Well, this is a side quest, but I guess we'll have time for it. I can't. I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. Do I gotta sneak up behind him, maybe? He's miming that there's a wall there, and then it's actually there. Spooky, spooky stuff. We can just get around this way. Might be able to just get around this way. Okay, let's sneak up on him. Tippy toes, tippy toes. What's up, Mr. Mime? And just like that, I got thrown out, or he disappeared. It ran off that way. I wouldn't, it wouldn't run unless I had something to hide. Now I really got to find out what it's up to. God damn it. Where'd that Andrew guy go? Man, there two guys. Where did he go? You're the whisk lady. You are the wisp lady. You want me to collect the wisps? Where did he run off to? That is the real question. Where did he run off to? I suppose. Could just go here. And do this. Yeah, never in a long time would I have probably chosen to investigate all the way over here. Got anything new for me? Nope, not yet. You don't. Andra. Look, that Mr. Mam ran right up there. Sure did. Find a way to approach him. Don't make me walk around all the way. You dirty son of a bitch, Mr. Mam. Don't make me run around the whole galaxy team building. Fox sakes. Oh boy. What in the world? Is there like an invisible maze here? Hey, Wisp. Don't you... What is going on? I'm so confused. There's just an invisible wall here. Is this because of Mr. Mine? Or is there an invisible wall there just in the game and it's... What are you doing, Pokemon? Ran away again. Ran off that way. 
you know you've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to Pokemon. Are you, secret? Are you scared of them or something? These invisible walls, goddammit. What? You're joking, unless that Mr. Mime is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case, this calls for further research. Uh, I've got to get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. Oh my god, this is taking up way too much of my time. I'm an important guy, you know. I'm an important guy, don't you know? Oh, excuse me. There you are, look. Mr. Mime's over there. He sure is. Let's go see if it's really making walls. God, God, damn, God. Yeah, damn it. God. Damn it. Ah, you stupid son of a bitch. So close. Goddamn invisible walls. Gotcha. You dirty rat. Trying to run again, wait you. Whoa, I can't I can't go any further. There's something here I can't see. What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like something's got you in a panic. What? Ress, you know this, Mr. Mime? Yep, it helps me guard the gate sometimes. When it stands out front and does that eerie dance, wild Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and it helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you go to all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. I've got, we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there. Folks better keep an eye out. Well, perhaps not an eye. Well, however one watches out for invisible obstacles. Jesus Christ, making me fucking chase down this innocent Mr. Mime. Yeah, damn it. Pause it all those. It will. Alright, let's finally head off to these coastlands. Look at all, look at how far we've come. How far our expedition has gone. Would that say the boat side camp? Kind of missed it there. No well, professors come with us. Of course, he likes to see new Pokemon. It's the ocean. Oh, the ocean. Spooky. Co cobalt coastlands. Cobalt. Co cobalt. Balt. Cobalt. Cobalt coastlands. Cobalt coastlands. I simply love the corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ooh. I can't, simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that you're a mission, you've a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? About the Fire Spirit Island. Oh yeah. As a side note that I remembered from last episode, we met back up with Leon, who is Cleaver's Warden. And uh, he said some people in the Pearl Clan speak ill of, I think is her name, Paulina. She, the warden that's supposed to be in this area, but she doesn't have a noble to look after, so even her own clan like speaks bad about her, which stupid. Indeed, Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you speak to the fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens, and he will surely help you find your way. And here's Irida, ready to chat. What do you got? Oscar, you know Glamia, one of those skittish Pokemon that runs from humans real quick? You want to catch Pokemon like that? Smoke bombs and stealth sprays are your friends. 
to help hide you from the keen eyes and ears of the unscabious black Pokemon. Good to know. Hope it's not a requirement to catch him, but... You would have a step. Oh, you got a flute. You can also play without moving your fingers, just like me. Very talented. It was truly beautiful. I do love the flute. It feels as if it tones carry to the very ends of space. But I'm here and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. Yeah, you who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Gotta prove my worth yet again, do ya? Let's go, Pyro. Should be an easy matchup for ya. What? You got an Eevee helper, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. You're cheating. Them's cheating words. Ouch. Baby doll eyes. Flame it again. Boom. Toast. Agile style. Quick attack. You rat. You gotta go again. One strong style flame wheel. Should be enough to take you out, I think. Very good. We'd love to see it. Battle is decided. We won. Oh yes! I've been meaning to do this for a couple of videos now. We can evolve our Luxio. I missed what you said, I'm so sorry. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you, allow me to heal your Pokemon. Yeah, serves you right for jump jumping at me, attacking me out and over, jeez. Oh. Alright, with you, I think you and you I think oh Jesus, with you. I think with you I can be frank. Can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I am weak. I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir could, would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it would silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Oh, jeez. That's really far away. Looks like we'll have to do some walking. Hey, yeah, crouch, pokeball. You goddamn Glamio. Get sidetracked by Glamios, of course. Catch a Glamio, of course. And turn and back strike and hopefully we'll just tuck in there real nice for us. 
Thanks, Glamio. You're a good kitty. Oh my god. What is that on the shoreline I see? Oh, you damn bitch cat. Bonk. Just keep hurling Pokeballs at ya. Ah, oh, you got that Pokemon. That's right, this crew. Oh my god. Hey, Staravia. That's neat. That's neat, little Staravia. Pokeballs can't reach Pokemon flying way up high, but Feather Balls are another matter. Thanks. Fly pretty far, so they're great for catching Pokemon up in the sky. Like Gyarados, not you, Staravia. I can hit you with a Pokeball. This, on the other hand... Oh. My. God. Come back. Sphio. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Look at him. He's so goddamn cute. Get in my Pokeball right now. Please, for the love of God. Oh, my God, Sphio. Look at him. He's a little cute little spill. Look at these shells. Oh, this is a pop pod. Boom. Catch all the spills. Spill, no, spill, come back. Oh my god. My day has been made. Let's just put it that way. I will not be any more happier than I am at this moment. Look at these dudes. Oh my goodness. Look at you. You're so cute. Get back here. I'll make you guys good spheres. I'll give you a good home. I love each and every one of you. They're like Badoofs, they just don't really give a shit. Wow. Will this really brighten my mood? Let me just say, let me just say that, yeah. That was just. Truly is. An amazing game. These feels. I want one of you guys just on my team just to look at. Just to cherish. Oh yeah, should I <laughs> keep bringing it up? Should we just freaking evolve this Luxio or what? Do 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 do. The badass looking Luxray. Oh yeah. Pretty neat. Pretty neat looking cat. Some Starlies and Staravia over here. A fucking alpha machoke. Some more machoks. And a regular machoke. Oh, it's just a log. Some scorupi. Some more pot pods to be had. There's a few on here. Pick these up. Because what's his face wants some in the basement of the galaxy building there. It allowed us to trade better wares with the shop owner. Watch off, what are you doing out on the beach? You shouldn't be out this far, it's dangerous. 
No talk. See you later. Oh, it's a whole ass worm of them. I thought it was just gonna be a Burmy. Just a worm of them all together. Match. Pokeball go. What a fine investment this worm of them will be to my Pokedex. Or not. Could you just get in the dang ball? Please? Yes, nicely. You dirty rat, rat bastard. Oof. Just keep tanking. Pyro, just keep tanking. We'll we'll get her figured out. Four times a charm? Nope, okay, we're just gonna huck the great ball at you. Okay, yep, yeah, that's yeah, okay, okay, fuck's sake. Great googly moogly. There you go. Just wanted to be special, just wanted a goddamn great ball. Thought we were just gonna get a Burmy. I'll have to go up there. Well, this is a problem. It means I have to get up here. Which means I have to get up there. Which means I have to. What is that? Is that just a Star Eevee up there? Well, that's an actual Star Raptor. The final form. How am I to get up here? Do I have to start like all the way at the beginning? Let's take a look at the map. Oh, there's fucking caves now. Come turn back cave, seaside hollow. Lava Dome Sanctum. How in the world am I to get up here? Hey, it's Tangla. Should be a shatchel around here somewhere. Right there. Interesting. Interesting predicament I find myself in. Looks like Weird Deer is gonna have to do a little bit of Bill Goten. By the looks of things. Can I even walk across this mountain? You must be able to. I just need to get on top of it, don't I? I can't go any farther. Well, then how the hell am I supposed to get up to where this chick's at? Unless there's an answer for you. Oh. You know what? There's an answer right here, actually. Just don't be an idiot. No problems are solved. Probably lots to explore here. Like an underground Geodude, an underground Graveler. What a turn of events. Get rid of Graveler. Let's just 
Well, I guess we could get experience points, right? Wouldn't kill us. But maybe it would. And then... We'll finish running up to Polina and we'll talk with her next time, I guess, on that time today. I guess we'll just engage with her next time to figure out what the issues are. That is a giant ass cat. That's a glammy I was up here. And there she is. So we'll talk with her next video. Anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment. Do any and all those things if you enjoyed the video today. And as we say up here in Canada, peace out.